everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video of things to do in Salem. I have another restaurant to talk about today and this is one of my favorite Mexican restaurants in Salem. This one is a little less talked about but I really, really love and it is Casa Tequila. Casa Tequila is located on Derby Street at 300 Derby Street, which is really not far from that main Essex Street anyway. Salem is primarily just two streets, Essex Street and Derby Street. You don't really have to go much else outside of that unless you wanna to go to like Proctor's Ledge or like see some other things by the wharf. But predominantly you can see most of Salem by just going to Essex Street and Derby Street. And this one just happens to be on Derby Street. Casa Tequila is another really amazing restaurant for people who are vegetarian, um, not necessarily vegan. I'm sure you can get things without cheeses, but there's not like cheese substitutes, if that makes sense. There are other places in Salem that have cheese substitutes if you're somebody who likes that. But if you're a vegetarian or a vegan who really just likes vegetables and doesn't really care about any type of substitute, then you wouldn't mind at all because the vegetarian menu is actually really wonderful. They have six different vegetarian like meal, what's the word I'm looking for? Like combos, if that makes sense. This is an example so you can see kind of what this combo looks like for a bean burrito, a cheese enchilada, and a chalupa. It's $12.75, so you get all three, which is really nice, and it's only $12.75, which I think is really reasonable. I usually get a potato quesadilla, and I had actually never gotten that before from a restaurant before I saw it somewhere on the menu here. I didn't necessarily see it, I don't think, in the vegetarian section. I'm like trying to see now where I saw it. I saw it somewhere on the menu, otherwise I wouldn't have ordered it. Potato quesadilla is $11.99, and it is so good, it's basically like, mashed potatoes with like cheese in the quesadilla. It is so, so yummy. I love potato quesadillas and I'm shocked I had never had one before. So I usually get a potato quesadilla with a side of rice. I really love their rice. Back when Kevin and I lived in Connecticut, we would always get beer ritas is what they were called. And it was, you could pick whatever type of beer you want and they flip it over into a margarita and it'd be in this like massive glass. And I would usually get Dos Equis, but here at Casa Tequila, and I don't often see places offer this, so I was really excited when I saw this on the menu when we first went. They have Corona Ritas, which of course is a Corona tipped over into a margarita. And usually they just do a house margarita, but I always ask if they could do a strawberry Corona Rita. And chef's kiss, it's amazing. Literally every time we go, somebody asks, they're like, why is yours pink and how can I get that? because it tastes so much better when it has the strawberry in there. And there's just something about like beeritas and like putting Coronas or any type of beer, honestly. Dos Equis was really good as well, but putting Corona in a margarita is so good. I don't know how to describe it. I prefer that over a regular margarita. I don't know, there's something about it that is really special. And they do some of the best Coronaritas, beeritas, whatever that I've had. So good. They have a really, really cute patio as well. Um, that's where we sat this past time. There's like a water fountain going on and then also there are like string lights. So it's really nice to sit outside. Dogs are also allowed outside on the patio. The inside is also really cool. I didn't take any videos this time. I'll see if I could link pictures, but it's because we sat outside. I didn't get anything on the inside, but we've sat both on the first floor and also like up on the second floor. And I believe there also is a third floor. So it is a pretty big establishment. We've sat on the first and the second and both times were really nice. I really like the atmosphere. It feels really nice. They're always playing some really good authentic Mexican music. Just to give you guys the hours too. And again, I'm not sure if this is gonna change during the holiday season as I like to call it. It's our Halloween season, but that is our holiday season in Salem. It's Monday through Thursday. 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. So they're open every single day. Something special too about Casa Tequila is that they make all of their sauces. So I love when things are house-made and you can only get it at particular places and Casa Tequila is one of those places. They do have over 80 different varieties of tequila, which is super special. I don't really care what kind of tequila it is because I just have it in a margarita. If you're somebody who really has a taste for a specific tequila, and if you like having those like higher end options, there are a ton of options here. And I don't see any option on the website to make a reservation. I know that's a lot of times people are interested in making reservations at places in Salem. It could be really difficult to eat places in Salem, but 
I would just keep that in mind. Definitely call if you're interested in coming during the Halloween season, but if you're coming any other time of the year, you should be okay, unless it's like Cinco de Mayo or something, because then you'll never get in. I love Casa Tequila. It is one of my favorite places to go in Salem. I just love Mexican food and burritos, and that's it. <laughs> That is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I would really like to do a frequently asked questions for Salem video. So if you have any questions about Salem or are looking to get more information to plan your trip, definitely leave them down below. I can either comment with an answer or I can film a whole, whole video of like frequently asked questions because I do hear a lot like people asking for transportation, like where do I park? That's its own beast, basically. Parking in Salem is a nightmare. Um, so if you want information about where to park, I get a lot of questions about where is there a public restroom because again, those are also very few and far between. So if you have any questions about maybe booking your trip or things that you're wondering, if you wanna come and visit, definitely let me know down below. I'd love to do a video like that. That is it for today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.